everyone, Dylan here, Mediki Motor Group. Today I'm doing an exciting review on the all new GWM Tank 300. A fully independent review coming from a dealer, been with the brand for about two years now. And I just wanna give my unbiased opinion uh, on this wonderful new model that we have on offer that we've finally got in our showrooms. So this is it, the all new GWM Tank 300. The model we're reviewing today is the Tank 300 Ultra. So this is the top of the range in the two litre petrol turbo. Just a few of the features on the outside of the vehicle. It does have LED headlights, daytime running lights and fog lights standard. It also has 18 inch alloy wheels. Now, one thing everyone likes to know is the fuel consumption. So let me run you through that. So it's 9.5 combined cycle and 11.8 litres per hundred around town. And if you're out on the highway, it'll do 8.1. So considering the size and the weight of this vehicle, uh, those fuel consumption figures aren't too bad. So the engine in the Tank 300 is a two litre turbocharged petrol in the model we have here. They do have a hybrid variant coming out as well. But this one's 162 kilowatts and it has an eight speed transmission as well. It is four by four and it has a braked towing capacity of two and a half thousand kilos and an unbraked towing capacity of 750 kilos. So good for any sort of medium sized camper van, trailer, that sort of thing. Um, this GW on Tank 300 will do a good job with that. It does come in five different colors, but today we're reviewing the dusk orange. At the back of the vehicle, it does have the side opening tailgate with the spare wheel on the back, which also has front and rear parking sensors, reverse camera, it has a 360 camera as well. So you've also got little cameras under the mirrors here and at the front of the vehicle as well. Really nice styling as you go around the vehicle and have a bit of a look. And the Ultra Tank 300 also comes with a lovely little sunroof. Also they have keyless entry and keyless start as well. Now the key on this one doesn't have anywhere to connect your keys to. There's no little hoop in that. So I've actually ordered some little cases, little silicon cases with a little attachment on online just to make it a bit easier to carry these because um, we have to put them in little bags to have our tags, which isn't the greatest. So uh, I'll show you those when we get them. The headlights on this vehicle are a really cool design too. They have the round look with the eye sort of across the middle, but they're a very nice headlight. I drove this last night, really bright, nice direction, go further enough out, but don't go in people's eyes. So um, they've done a really good job with the headlights on this model as well. Everybody likes the old door sound check in a car. So let me demonstrate that for you. Nice and solid. Alrighty guys, we're inside the Tank 300 Ultra. I'm going to go for a road test now and um, let you know how it drives and a few of the features that uh, this vehicle has. So let's go. One of the things the whole range has is an auto release handbrake. So you basically put the vehicle in drive, hit the accelerator and the handbrake will release. So that's a really nice little feature. So we're doing this review in Port Macquarie. Uh, and we're just going to do, we have like a bit of a loop that goes around the town, out to the highway and then back in another direction, back towards the dealership. So we're just going to do that loop uh, and see how it goes. But in this model, which is the Ultra, it has a few things over and above the Lux model. Uh, and some of those things, are, it has Nappa leather, so a nice premium leather. And it has 18 inch alloy wheels rather than 17 inch in the Lux. It has a three piece underbody guard as well so a bit more protection under the vehicle for off-roading and beach and that sort of stuff and this one has an eight-way powered electric driver's seat and actually has massage function as well you press the little button in between uh, the lumbar support buttons um, and it's pretty mild but still massage all the same gives that lumbar area of your back a nice little rub as you're driving uh, and in long distances if you have the heated seats on as well with the massage uh, it is a nice way to reduce some fatigue on long drives, which is something that a lot of people don't realize, but um, I actually use the heated seats as a heat pack on my back. So I have the air con on cold and the heated seat on, uh, and with the added massage is a you know nice little feature. The Ultra also has a 220 volt power outlet in the back as well, plug in a fridge and that sort of thing if you're touring or traveling. Um, a nice little added function there in the very back of this one. Wireless phone charger. It comes standard on this one as well. This one actually has an Infinity 9 speaker stereo as well. Now, Infinity do make really good sound systems, and the subwoofer in this car just adds to that sound quality as well. So, it is really nice. And if you do see the speakers in this, which I'll show you in a minute, they do look a lot like what was in Mercedes Benz models. So, um, yeah, 
little bit of a, a nice feature there for the stereo and definitely a step up from previous stereos they've had in their cars and sound systems. This one's just a fair bit more quality. A minor thing, but a cool detail. This has 64 colors in the ambient lighting for the interior. So at night, you can really adjust the interior to your feel. Um, it's actually a really nice feature. The car that I'm in is orange. If you want an orange interior, you can have the orange lights so or you can have a, a number of others as well, just to set it up how you like it. The Ultra as well, if you are looking at doing any sort of off-roading, comes with a front and rear diff lock standard. So basically you engage low range, press the front or rear diff lock and it'll engage and then off you go and a lot more capable with those functions. The Tank 300 comes in five colors. Uh, they haven't been that adventurous with their colors, but basically it's orange, white, black, red, and gray. So that's your color palette to choose from on this model. Uh, I do think the orange looks good, it stands out. Something a little bit different, um, but I'd love to see one in the white as well. Now we've only had this vehicle at the dealership for a week, um, and I've driven it home a couple of times just to get a feel for it. And first impressions are really good. It's solid, uh, it feels good, the steering's nice. Um, the blinkers are actually on the, the right hand side, unlike all their other models are on the left. So something to get used to if you do buy this model is they're back on the right. The lane assist seems to be working really well. I'm driving in between white lines right now, heading out of town, uh, and it is keeping me in the middle pretty well. Some people don't like this function as it, it tries to fight you a little bit if you're not driving on the middle of the lines. Um, but look, for safety purposes, I've left it on, um, and it is, it is working quite well. Now the infotainment screen in this vehicle is connected to the instrument cluster, so it's nice, one big nice screen across the front there. Um, has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, that's all standard across this vehicle's whole range, um, including all the other Havel and GWM models. Dual zone aircon, um, you can have different displays on there so you can change the style of the screen and configure the multimedia screen to your liking with different shortcuts and things like that, which is really handy. We do have a 360 degree camera on this vehicle as well so two in the mirrors one at the front and the back of the vehicle gives you a nice bird's eye view using all those cameras to join those images together uh, and makes reversing and parking a little bit easier with a vehicle of the size um, you can see garden beds in front of you and bollards and things like that with the camera so it takes away that guessing when you're parking so far it's extremely quiet a like cars going past you can barely hear them on the way past um, it's very comfortable the seating position is really good I'm in a nice position there. One thing that GWM Havel does need to work on a little bit is just the length of the base of their seat. Sometimes it can be a little bit short for people with longer quads uh, or legs. So it's just one of those things that will be a personal preference. But um, all in all, the seating position is really good. Uh, I feel good with the lumbar support. I'm nice and high. I can pretty much see the front of the bonnet of this vehicle, uh, which is nice. A lot of people do like to see as far forward as they can and not rely on those cameras all the time. The 162 kilowatts with this two liter turbo engine is nice, especially with that eight speed transmission combination. Uh, the gear changes are pretty seamless and quick. As you can see, this vehicle's quite roomy. So we've got, it's a five seater. We've got USBs in the back for the kids. Um, the Nappa leather in this one will be nice and comfortable for them. There is ambient lighting in the back as well. Uh, this one has got a sunroof. You can open let a little bit more light in like that. I'm not a big fan of sunroofs purely because of my lack of hair. Um, so I normally keep that blind closed, but a lot of people don't realize you can use sunroofs in the morning or at night. You know, have the heater on, have the sunroof open at night when the stars are out. It's a really nice way to actually get some use out of your sunroof. A lot of people just leave the blind shut and never use them, but look, cloudy days, as long as it's not raining. Um, yeah, nighttime, cool mornings, that sort of thing. I think it's a wonderful way to let a vent, a little bit of air vent through the vehicle and um, also enjoy the roof. The particular vehicle I'm in is $51,500 drive away, uh, as it does include metallic paint. For that sort of money, it's hard to beat. Quality of it, everything's got soft touch to feel, the dashes, the stitching, um, the buttons, everything feels good in this. Nothing's plasticky and tacky. Even the vents that they've put in are really nice to turn um, to let the airflow in when you need it. GWM have thought of a few nice little things that they put in their cars consistently, and one of them is a little USB up on the, the console here to plug in a dash cam. So if you are a dash cam user, you don't have to run the power cord down to the USB or the power socket down here in the middle. You can just plug it straight in up there. We're out on the highway now. Just gonna put the adaptive cruise control on and see how that goes. 
I've got it set at 105 kilometers an hour. These do run a little bit fast um, compared to a GPS. So we're probably doing 98 or 99 real now. Um, it's cruising along nicely. I've got the distance to the car in front set as close as possible. It's still a good distance. So, you know, if you put it the furthest distance, you feel a long way back from the car in front of you. I think this vehicle is going to appeal to a lot of people who are in the market for something that is capable, semi off-road, off-road, that is out of their price range these days. A lot of vehicles have gone up in price dramatically. You look at a Jeep Wrangler, for example, you know, they're $90,000 plus now and just have priced people out. So this vehicle is going to jump in at $51,500 uh, and really appeal to a lot of people. It is very, very well built. I'm not just saying that because I'm selling the vehicles. You've got to come in and see for yourself, have a test drive, really experience this vehicle because I think you'll be impressed. Not a fan of doing U-turns on the highway, but got to do what you got to do. Don't want to go too far. Foot down there. Accelerate hard. So we're off to 70, 80, 90, 100. So not too bad. Pick up. It does have a very jet-like gear stick, if you will. So you basically hold onto it and you pull it down into drive and back into reverse. It's a switch. So it does go back to the middle um, after you've selected the appropriate gear. Show you guys that turn and circle. Right, we'll do a, a, a turn now. Like I'm turning, I'm in full lock now, and this is turning around in two standard lanes, I reckon. Really nice. Really important in a big SUV to have a nice tight turning circle. You'll see there. Uh, I'm just gonna pull up over here. All the buttons on the steering wheel are really nice. You've got volume, track, voice command, mute, answer and hang up the phone and then of course your menu options to change the instrument cluster as well so they've done a really really good job with this vehicle i'm very impressed um, can't wait to drive it more can't wait for you guys to come and test drive it now we are available all week and saturdays from nine till two so if you do want to have a test drive just give us a call book in it's the best way so you don't miss out uh, happy to take you for a test drive this particular vehicle we're in is not for sale, but we can order from it and there's plenty more stock going to be coming through the pipeline over the next few months. So we're excited to get some bums in some seats and see these out on the road. I think you guys are going to be really impressed. Just heading back to the dealership now, guys. Just gonna open this, let a bit more light in. The length of this vehicle is 4.76 meters long. So about your average length of a vehicle these days. They're all about that somewhere. So look, all in all, the drive was really, really good. I'm impressed with the handling, the suspension, the comfort, um, the turning circle's great. It's got plenty of power. Uh, all that's there. So it's a really complete package. Um, it's a non-biased opinion. Look, I've driven a lot of vehicles in my time. Uh, and this, you know, value for money, all the inclusions you get, the comfort, uh, it's, it's really there. So I welcome you all to come and have a drive uh, whenever you want. Happy to have you. It'd be great to meet you. We love meeting new people. Uh, it's part of why we do this job. Just going through some new roadworks here. Another estate, you know, in Port Macquarie. They're everywhere. Really all of GWM Havel's range has got a five-star ANCAP, and I'm sure this will be no different, which just basically means it's at the top of the standard for safety in Australia. So that includes all your passive and active safety, um, which is airbags, collision prevention, lane assist, blind spot monitor, pedestrian assist, rear collision assist, all that type of stuff. If you have any questions about any of those safety features, um, we are absolutely happy to help you with that. Uh, it can get confusing and there is a lot of them, but very configurable too. So you can turn a lot of them on or off to your desire. And a lot of people don't like bells and whistles and I'm one of the people that doesn't like the noises. So all the beeps, you can go in and turn all those beeps off. So for example, the lane assist, if you're veering over the white lines, instead of it beeping, you can just have it so the steering wheel vibrates, which is a nice feature. One thing that this vehicle does have, 
is manual buttons for a few of the, the features on the screen. So temperature in the aircon, fan speed, changing the mode. They've got physical buttons now. We're in the Jolion on the H6. You don't have those. You have to use the screen. And it can be a little bit fiddly at times, reaching up to press the touch screen while you're driving. Not the safest thing to do either, but they do have manual buttons now. And this one also comes with a USB and a USB-C in the front. One thing I do love about this vehicle is its name. How good's that, calling it a tank? It's the best name ever. My daughter's one and a half and she was steering it the other day and my grandfather wrote, look, it's Sawyer driving a tank. So there you go. So just like all the other vehicles in the GWM Havel range, these all come with a seven year unlimited kilometer warranty, five years of capped servicing and five years of roadside assist. So if you're looking for peace of mind in a vehicle, then this is sure the way to go. Um, seven years, nothing to worry about. You know, on the sixth year, good year to trade it in and go again, as the next person who buys it has still got 12 months warranty up their sleeve in case, just in case anything happens where they'll need to use that warranty. Different steering modes in this as well. So you can have comfort, sport, or light, which just basically means the way the steering wheel feels when you're driving. So sport just makes it a little bit more stiff um, I drive it in comfort, which is just the normal mode, and light is like you can turn the steering wheel with one finger. It's really, really light to drive, but that can feel a little bit odd sometimes, a little bit too much play for my liking. Well, this vehicle is officially my favorite in the range so far. Looking forward to driving the hybrid when it comes out. We do have a couple of other new models as well. Uh, we do have the GWM Aura, which is a fully electric little five seat hatchback. Really impressive little car too, especially if you're just zipping around town um, got the family, take him to school, that sort of thing. It's a great little vehicle and full electric. So you should come and check that out as well. And we also have a new Ute in the range too, which is a, it's a Canon. It's called an XSR. It's just an up spec more off-road capable Canon Ute. This vehicle also comes with two coffee cup holders that are the same size. You can take that out to clean it as well. So you and the partner or friend will be able to have a coffee and put it in the cup holders. Um, some of the other vehicles have two different size ones and you can't always fit drink bottles or the right coffee cup in. So nice feature there um, with a little slidey drawer too and a center console that lifts up, which actually acts as a cool box via the air conditioning. So in summer, if you've got a drink or a, you know, a muesli bar or something and you wanna keep it cold, you can just open the little vent in the cool box and uh, keep your items cold. So I appreciate you coming along for the drive today. It's been wonderful. Hope you enjoy this review. Uh, there isn't too many independent ones out there on the internet, so this might be good for people to get a sense of what it's really like from a dealer perspective uh, and not the media. So hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, all the information you'll need is in the bio on this video. Have a great day, guys, and we'll see you for the next one.